As if it looks like a Ross dress. It is. I'm back this week. You're all welcome. Uh, my name is Ryder Knightley. And I'm Ryan Light. And welcome to Toot and Boo. Week six, something. Six? Five? Six? Hmm. I don't know. We're like halfway there. We're almost done. We're, almost, we're more than halfway there. We're so close. Oh, halfway there. Even though the gag was, now there's another double elimination. Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> like, thank God. There it is. Uh, so we're going to get right into it. We're going to start off with the purple runway. Yes. As you can see, we're representing purple tonight. Ooh, purple. purple. With our mystery production earrings. Mystery production. <sighs> Available at the booth. Why did I search? At ODRL. That. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you know talent, bitch. <laughs> so first up, we have Miss Evie Adonis. Doing a little lingerie moment. So in this picture, you don't see that there was a purple feather like half um, robe, like it stopped maybe a little bit above the knee. Um, and there was a brassiere moment that she unveiled to have the pasties. Um, so in this picture, it doesn't look like there's enough purple looking at it, but the whole moment had much, had more purple to it. What do you think? You weren't there. I got to see the full moment. Um, so I wish there was a photo of the full moment because there isn't one. At least that we have, but I still would wish that we we dyed the lingerie to be purple, because it's it's a purple runway, right? Uh, the hair is purple, your makeup's purple. The makeup looks stunning, by the way, absolutely stunning. Oh, and the hair, I love this big hair. And yeah, it's so good. So like from from the waist up, great. I love the idea of the concept, um, but from the waist down is a disconnect for me. Yeah, and there were there is purple stoning throughout, so you got like uh, this glow of purple because it's different from anything I've seen from Evie, and I do just love like this big hair on her. Um, on stage, you can really see the purple stones kind of glowing off the tights. Um, I'll give this one a two. Based off of the photo, I'm going to boot it. All right, next up we have Victoria motherfucking Cage. She's wearing a crown, so I don't know if it's like prom queen, homecoming queen kind of moment. Uh, with that dress, it's homecoming. Homecoming. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Prom. Prom would have touched the floor. It should have touched the floor or it should have been intentionally short. This isn't my favorite only because it looks, especially compared to the other girls, the least thought through. Purple is so vague that you need either just a runway that is so beautiful and glamorous that it's like, you know what I mean? That's yeah. just a 10 out of 10. Or you need to be clever with your concept. Um, and I think that for me, like the crown, I kind of got, oh, maybe homecoming queen. Maybe it's a reference to something that I didn't get. Mm. But to me, it just looked like a simple purple dress that um, wasn't doing enough for me. But I, I could have forgiven it, the simplicity of the outfit, if like the hair was big, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just super simple. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little too simple for such a simple runway theme. You know, again, like- And for like so this far into the game. Yeah, yeah. So it is a boot. If anything, I wish you had, what you can do is cut it shorter so that it's just above the knee and then take a crinoline and put it under it and Ooh. it'll be a big poofy little like cupcake dress. Yeah. I think that's the way that um, you could kind of like repurpose it. Yeah. It, It's a boot, but it's it's a soft boot because like it, it doesn't look like it was just bought from a store. It looks like you purchased the fabric and sewed the dress. Um, yeah, if anything for me, it's the length. That's the strangest thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a soft boot. Next up we have Aranya. Now Aranya came out and she was Slagatha, like Agatha all along, but she um, put her voice and it was Slagatha. So she is trying to invoke some Agatha Harkness, um, which you can see in the hair. I wish it was teased a bit bigger. It'd be like Agatha's hair. Yes. I'm going to say the same thing I said about Victoria, where I think it's just too simple. Yeah, I can see that. And and it and in the club when she came out because it was Agatha all along and the gays stan, she, the the crowd went wild. Uh, but looking at it a second time, I wish the corset was pulled a bit tighter. There's something about the panty, like the thong, that looks like it's sitting strangely. Do you well, see what she, I mean? Because she has a penis. I thought there were some things that were good. I liked the cape with the, the shoulder drape. I liked the little garter detail to bring a bit more to it. Um, but everything above the corset looks like it's missing something. Like I know the cape is supposed to be, kind of be the top and like tastefully cover the nipples, uh, but it was just missing something for me. Yeah. And again, that hair should have been like for Agatha, like twice as big. Right. I like the idea. Yeah, the idea was great. The execution just needed a bit of finesse. 
So it's a boot. It's a boot. That, that was <laughs> <clear. laughs> Next up, we have Mikey Meeks. <laughs> Wearing the winning runway outfit of the week. Hey. Um, she was our second place gal. And I do really like this as like a fashion one. At first when she walked out, I couldn't tell because where I was sitting, I could only see from the side. So I just saw this poofy thing at the bottom and I was like, what is that? And then she turned and this is 100% something that I would wear. Um, oh, yeah. This is, this is you written all over This it. is like very, it's very me. Um, I'd probably have to take it, take it in. Right, right. Because you're like... Because I'm like... I'm so thin. <laughs> but I really liked the uh, little bow details like on the tights, mm -hmm. that fabric, that purple silk is just really pretty. Um, and then like the difference in texture that you get from like the leather glove. Yeah. I just thought it was a very successful look. If I'm nitpicking, which, which we are, <laughs> I wish the silk part was pulled up a bit higher. Like it looks like it's just a bit low to where it should be. Um, and then like a big chunky necklace would have been great here yeah. to give a bit of sparkle. Yeah, I would have loved a necklace moment. Would have just cinched it in more. And I think that would have fixed Oh, it would have fixed issue. where it hits. Yeah, because it's kind of a straight line and then the poof. Yeah. Yeah, something to just give that a bit more shape. I think raising it would have changed where the bottom part hit yeah. and it would have looked like it was at the hip instead of just below the hip. Yeah. Um, and I like that she went with the blonde hair with, with just like a purple streak. That was cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but overall, this is definitely a two. Yeah. Um, and congrats for winning. And, and again, this is something where it's like not a specific reference, like purple, I'm going to be Barney. Mm. Um, but it's just a very fashionable, very trendy, very like creative look. China Washington, so she is a Teletubby. Obviously I got the reference right when she came out. And it's like a great bodysuit, like it's fitted to her to a T and you have the headpiece but I don't know why I wish there was something else going on. And I, I can't, I could, China, I cannot for the life of you tell you what I wish was different, but I feel like I'm just missing something. I can tell you what I'm missing. The big son and the Teletubbies, that's the baby. The baby. <laughs> uh, where the fuck was the baby? <laughs> it could have been the smallest pair of hip pads, just to really give you that, oh, yeah. that figure. Because like you said, the bodysuit fits like a glove. It is beautifully constructed. I guess the whole thing is one purple moment and there's no contrast between texture or variants of color of purple, if that makes sense. Besides the, the iPad. Yeah. Um, if there was maybe even, because the Teletubbies are fuzzy, mm. if there was like, if the gloves were like purple fuzz fur or something to look like, I, I just, yeah, I couldn't tell you what it was um, that I was missing. No, if she I... walked out without the iPad, I would have thought she was like futuristic alien. So, so it's, it's a soft suit. suit. This is unscripted. We Next have up, we Christina have Embers Taylor. Christina Embers Taylor. Is holding a fan. But I thought this was a cool, fun little gag. There were, especially in the back of the gown, and this is super nitpicky again, there was like a construction thing that was weird in the back where the gown came together mm. um, between the shoulder blades. But that's like so small and the hair is really sickening, that purple up to. Um, so this is definitely a two. And it was a fun little like celebration of the different types of drag by rocking the beard. Yeah, it's a soft two. I'm not like blown away by it like I have been with Christina for the pretty much the rest of the competition. It was her most simple look. Yeah. And you can tell the focus was on like the beard and getting it right. Yeah. This is another example kind of like a couple outfits we've talked about where it could have benefited from some bigger jewelry moments on the wrist mm -hmm. and the necklace and some stoning for some contrast. Um, it's just that little extra. The little extra stuff that you really, and it's hard because it's it's purple, and I know purple jewelry is very hard to come by. Well, not if you're shopping at Mystery Productions. I mean, catch my live on Tuesdays. Look at the material. Saturday. <laughs> Here we are. Check out the booth at Audio Row. It's it's one of your simpler looks, and I think that's why I'm not like. But, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, but it's yeah. It's, it's a soft two. And now moving on to our black wedding performance. Yes, the bride who wore black. Everyone used their good up dues. I don't know what they're gonna do for evening gown week in a few weeks, because the hair this week was right. And I will say that. I didn't wear enough to for my evening gown. Did you win? No. And first up we have Miss Mikey Meeks. I don't know why this this gives me a lot of like Beetlejuice vibes. It does, yeah, I was thinking that. It's beautiful. Uh, I can't tell in this photo, but I'm gonna assume that it's tailored to her body. It was fitted super, super well. The little lace glove detail, the veil, um, the hair had like these streaks of like dark blue in it. It was just really cool. Oh, that is really cool. This was a definite too. Like yeah. I think from the get, um, the performance gave me very like 
80s, but I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this take on Bride Who Wore Black. Yeah, I'm mad that I missed this. <laughs> uh, but this is the two. Good job, sis. Evelyn Adonis, again, stunning. St Everything about this was right. Stunning. Um, I mean, just the platinum hair against the black, the veil, the mesh. It fitted her so well, and I think she borrowed this she either borrowed this or Carbon made it from her. I saw her credited. Yeah. It looks like the Nicki Minaj dress on when she was the first guest judge a few seasons ago. Yes. That's exactly what it looks like. I don't know if it was an inspiration, but it is stunning and I would like one in pink. I would just like this one. Okay. Yeah. The only thing, super nitpicky, I don't know if it was this way live, but in the photo I can't tell, stoning detail. That's the only thing I would have added to it. Yeah, and if she borrowed it, you know, and if Carbon didn't right. want stones right. on it, then yeah, I could see. Um, but that's where she could have put like some big jewelry over top of it mm -hmm. to accent and to give some shine. Her earrings were the biggest earrings of the night, but this is just a two. I mean, next we have China. The first one, the dress before she reveals it, I think it might just be the pose, um, but it's not fitted enough for me, I think, mm -hmm. which is like super small. I wish the lace gloves were stoned. I wish. Yeah. I, there's I... A, that's what I'm noticing this season. A lack of stoning, a lack of jewelry. Yeah. And it's. I get it because you're trying to fit the theme, but at the yeah. end of the day, it's still a drag competition. Yes. So th there has to be those elements of drag in your outfit and your performance. So it's it's that balance that you need to find. Yeah, right? even when you're doing the character, you need to give it something extra. Mm -hmm. And this is an unfair comparison because it wasn't for a competition, but Carbon did the Corpse Bride a while back. Um, and of course, like between runways, China does not have the time to do the whole correct, correct. white with the dark blue makeup and everything. It's like when Roxy did Shrek and then you did Shrek and you actually looked like Shrek and Roxy looked like Fiona. Are you calling me fat? I'm calling you green. But it's like those kinds of details could have been there. Yeah. Honestly, and this, and this would have been a fine outfit and everything without it being the corpse ride. Yeah. Like this could have been anything, but that was what the video was like, you know, supporting. I'll give this a soft toot. Yeah, I, it, it's not bootable, That's, but it's right. not like I'm not like Christina for the purple, like I'm not wowed by it. Um, next we have Christina and Bruce Taylor. Um, the hair was right, it kept its perfect little swoop in the front. It's a two, it's one of the one things that because of like the size and the volume gave you wedding dress immediately just because of how much tool and stuff there was. Yeah. Um, it gave you that classic wedding dress. This is a two. Yeah, it is a two. I wish you could see the reveal, but it was good, it was good. Next up we have Victoria motherfucking Cage. So this one reads more prom than wedding, I think. Or like bridesmaid. Again, lack of jewelry. Where's the necklace? Yeah. I don't want to say it's simple because I know this style of dress is not simple to make. Right, and it's got, it's all that lace you can see when you zoom in. The, the crown for this one doesn't read wedding. It kind of gives you like <laughs> enchantress vibes. It feels like three separate pieces, you know, right? Like the, the, the head, the arms, the dress, all feels like three separate pieces that we just threw together. Yeah. I am, um, again, I wish there was just the, the details like on that lace that's very easy to stone, mm -hmm. you know, just like, even if it was jet black, so you only catch it in the light, mm -hmm. like just that subtle glamorous thing, like a black necklace, huge, like a huge black, or even like a red one, if you wanted to be like a little gothic-y, would have helped pull in the details. And then again, there was the issue where it like, it was sliding down. You know, take that double-sided body tape and like mm -hmm. stick it. Yeah. You know, that goes a long way. If I'm thinking this hard about it, I think it has to be a boot. I think so too. And when she looked saying she actually put these cool like bat wings on. And I think if she had that with this, uh, it would have been a two the whole time. Yeah. So with how you did it for the lip sync was a two for me. Cause I was like, Ooh, cool. She's like that. That's fun. But just this, it'll be a boot. And last but not least, we have Aranya. This hair is beautiful. The hair is so cool. This outfit, I see what she was doing with like the belt that's a garter that turns into the dress at the bottom. But because it is bride who wore black and you want to see a wedding dress, I wish it was more full. Or even like revealed into this would have been cool. Yeah, even if it was just a tearaway at the, at the waist. Mm -hmm. um, which is what a couple other girls did. Yeah, I wish the bottom part was a bit more full. And if it was higher, it looked like at the beginning, I think because it was, it's literally at the knees, it was hard to walk in. Whereas if it was higher and poofed out, you're, you would have had more of the ability to walk. And it's hard to see the detail in the, uh, because it's black in this photo, like in the mm -hmm. bodysuit. So this one's hard for me because the hair is right. But from like the neck down, it's kind of simple. Yeah, and there's just a couple little details that could have really brought it together. I wish there was a bit more wedding dress to yeah. this outfit. And let me rephrase that. From the neck 
to the pussy is kind of simple. Right, and then you have the lace stockings, which are cute. I'm going to soft suit it. I'll go with that, too, because the hair is right. Yeah. The hair is just so right. And I know Vico made this outfit. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know if she designed it and Vico made it, or Vico just was like, this is my concept. She said that. It's fitted to you, which is not something we had from everyone else. That's true. So it is a soft toot. Yeah, I agree with myself on that one. And then we should give a quick toot to both Justine and Sherry Moan, who have been brought back into the competition. Yes. From Sherry, we have the mug was super right and this like big ol' hair and the comic book fun print. And then the, the black was leather. Like it was, So this is a very cool, fun look. And then Justine, who has this trans pride flag dress that tore away into a leotard like like you couldn't even you can't even tell it's a reveal unless you really super zoom in like it was like perfect both look really good both are toots and welcome <laughs> back to the competition to both of you welcome back and get ready for what could be the hardest challenge the roast this is my final psa to anyone watching this before sunday if you need some help message me yes i'm it happy is. to help this is my favorite challenge this i want everyone to be successful i don't want anyone to bomb during right. this roast so Please feel free to reach out and assist will help. I think my overall is Evie, Black Runway. For once, I think we're on the same page. <laughs> yeah, it just Black looked so good. It looked right. Look at the material. <laughs> this Sunday, May 2nd. May 2nd. Comedy Roast and Production. 6 p.m. And one night, the challenge that I won most swiftly and also the challenge that landed me in the bottom two. <laughs> so I feel targeted because it's also the night that I was asked to perform. Um, so forget the girls, Ryder and I are going to be performing. Bring 20s and bring 100s. I don't want nothing less. And Actually, shots. I do though, if you have them, I'll have them. And shots. Um, like and this, shots. this isn't like a shot, that's your tip. Like, no, tip me, but also get me And drunk. then buy us a shot. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's that hard. Top seven. Top seven. It's a double elimination. Double elimination. So do you not be, mess up this roast. You'll be at least bottom four to stay safe. And we will see you then. Yeah. So until um, Sunday. Bye. Bye.